Good morning. Come on in. It's much warmer inside. Good morning. I hope you have brought your coffees with you for this one. I want to start by saying, well, first of all, welcome to build episode number 12, I believe. And I wanted to start by saying a quick apology. I know this video is going to be up a little late. And to be honest, I've had a bit, <laughs> I've had a bit of a shit week. And, you know, I think if you're in a normal workplace and you have a shit week, you can kind of just lay low and no one really notices. In this one, a few people might notice that I was a bit late on it. But I want you to know that I haven't been idle. If you have a look around, some work has been going on and I am now at the point where I have all my boards painted. Today, I really want to show you putting up the walls and ceiling and I feel like it's going to turn what still is a bit of a cargo van into really becoming a tiny home. In a few days, I'm starting cabinetry and I'm very pumped for that. And I have to put it out there, I could not have gotten all this work done without the help of friends and family. Sam, my mum and my dad and Judy all helped me out on separate days and really, I think they could just tell that I, this isolation out here was getting to me a little bit. So I'm super grateful for them. And mum's actually coming out again today, so you'll you'll meet Jano again very soon. But first, let's have a bit of a look at all the work that went into this. So I hope that gives you a bit better understanding of all the preparation that's gone to get to this point of being able to put the boards up. It was about four or five days work. And if you're wondering why I put Beck down and changed the roller, unfortunately, it was just not good enough weather and it got a bit too wet to use the spray gun. But luckily, Dad and Judy came to the rescue and it actually has finished with a really nice result that I'm, I'm very happy with. As for the battens, the... <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted. Two kangaroos have come up and they look like they're about to box on. Oi, enough of that, you two. Okay, so where were we? For the ribs that the cladding is going to attach to, I've used 12mm ply and I've just screwed them in with 
self-tapping sheet metal screws, which is really good because I didn't need to pre-drill those. I used 12mm ply because as you can see, it actually forms really well to the contours of the van. So that's really handy. This blue insulation is my final layer of the insulation. It's called, I think it's Amitalin. I got it from Bunnings and it's a closed cell foam that works as a vapor barrier as well as sound and heat insulation. It makes a bit of a heat trap of dead air space in there so the heat from the outside can get in but it kind of bounces around between the reflectics and then doesn't enter here. It also holds heat in here if you're actually heating the van. And I went for a drive the other day and the van is super quiet. I'll show you guys that in another video. So I've also sorted all the electrical cabling out. So it is coming out there. It's nice for it to be a bit neater. And what I've actually done, if you see this hole here with the blue string through it, it goes up through the rib where there's good, really nice cavity. And I've got it attached up here. And the idea is that when I want to add any new cabling, once all the walls and everything is on, I tie it to one of these strings. And then at the top, I pull that string through and it'll pull up the cabling into my overhead cupboards. A mate gave me that idea and I think it's genius. And speaking of genius, I wanted to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video and longtime supporter of this channel, Surfshark. Surfshark is a virtual private network or a VPN that helps protect your online data. And many of you will have heard of me talking about Surfshark before, but with the recent hacking attacks that are kind of happening everywhere, it is now more important than ever to protect your information online. Unfortunately, there are poindexters out there both local and abroad that seem to be taking advantage of the fact that more people than ever are working from home and being forced to communicate online due to the regulations with COVID. Luckily, along with the other fun features that I've mentioned before, like being able to change your country location so you can peruse other countries' much more generous Netflix galleries, Surfshark also protects your data by encrypting it. That includes your private messages, your photos, your passwords, so they can't get out and so they aren't as vulnerable to hacking attacks. I know many of you already jumped on the deal when I talked about it last time, but if you haven't, here is your chance. Surfshark is currently offering 85% off its two year plan plus three extra months free, which is the best deal that you'll get anywhere. That's an absolute steal. And the best part is there's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk involved. So if you're interested in protecting yourself more online, hit the link Oki. It'll be at the top of the video description. And I think I can hear mum coming. Perfect timing. <laughs> Thank you. And what every boy needs, his very own chalk line kit. Ah, uh, beauty. They had it. <laughs> yeah. How much was it? $10.15 and it's even got its own little tiny... Uh... Level. <laughs> Bargain. <laughs> Okay, because the first board is the most important, what we've done is run the string line mum board and it's from center to center and it's running down and I'm using that to measure off the distance and it's currently perfect, isn't it mum? And, you know, in reality, if it's like one millimeter off, do you know what you call someone that can tell that it's a millimeter off? An asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, gee, and it's beautiful and flush. Boy bit. Okay, now for the rest of the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, mum has to leave. You're on really good Samaritan duties today, aren't you? Because she's, she's now going to see grandma. So say hi to grandma for me. I will. All right, wait, okay. She's gone. Tell you what, once again, very grateful for this workspace. The weather's really turned out there and the rain's coming down. 
Mum was an absolute legend for coming out, and now actually Sam, my friend, is coming over to help me put up the longer lengths. So I've been super lucky with all the support I'm getting. Sam generally doesn't like to talk in front of the camera much, but we've been mates for 13 odd years now. We met in university, he's a paramedic as well, and I think we were mates after like the first week. So super stoked he's coming over. I really want to see how the LEDs look in place, the lights, but I think I might let Sam try that out. All right, Samuel. What's up? I said you can just test it. Oh, no. Just put one in. No, 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 no. I have not come here to be a movie star. Come on. <laughs> All you have to do is try the LED, mate. Right. Oh, wait. Hold on. Your string line's in there. Ooh. Little amateur trail. Your wires are in there, mate. Oh, Jesus. But otherwise, it obviously <laughs> no, fits. I can't get it out. Oh man. Getting it in is like the problem. I'm down more than I'm helping. Like a glove. That looks bloody beautiful. Hold on. Let me see. I reckon that could move. Yeah. And then a little bit more centered. And then. How's oh. that? One down. Looks good, huh? Plenty to go. Hey, Alfred. This is Sam's beautiful Airedale. Sam gave him a haircut that's made him slightly <laughs> less beautiful. Hey, buddy. He thinks the soft microphone's a toy. <laughs> He's chewed it once. I'll give you back soon, Alfred. going to jump straight into the weekly question this morning but dad messaged me and warned me that kangaroos have decided to come even closer so I'm just trying to sneak up on them a little bit but I think they might be taking over the sheep's position bloody drinking out of my dam They're just down here. Morning, fellas. Oh, look at them all. Oh, the Joey, I think, is having trouble getting through the fence. Just take it easy, buddy. I think I might give him some space to figure out its way. Ah, that's better. I really appreciate the kangaroos coming in and making up for my uh, lack of sheep. So before I get into keeping going with the roof panelling and the walls, which I'm actually starting to really enjoy. It's kind of a bit like a jigsaw puzzle on a quite a large scale. But before I get into that, I wanted to address the weekly question from this week. A number of comments when I did the shower last week when I talked about putting the heater vent in, I talked about putting it in the roof and people were saying, why don't I put it down low because hot air rises. To be honest, I hadn't even considered that at all. And you know that... That is one of the good things about putting these videos out there is I've gained some really great ideas from you guys. 
But thank you for that idea. I am taking it up. I'm going to put it right here next to the nature's head vent. I realized I hadn't talked about this actual shiplap board. So this is pine shiplap that I got from Bunnings. I think it's 113 mil wide. And it's a super popular way, as a lot of you will know, to line the van walls. I really love the white look because it's going with my very beachy theme that I'm going for. But it's not that cheap. I think for a 5.4 metre length, obviously, this van can take a huge load. It's got a long length. They're about, I think they're 20 bucks a length. And I've gotten... 17 of them so it's it's not a cheap way to line your vans you'd be much cheaper with just ply or something like that but it looks good <laughs> and, and sometimes when you put so much effort into everything else you got to make it look good at the end so just came back out to check to make sure that joey was okay and he must have made it out in the end Unfortunately, it seems as though my $50 Audi drill has finally died. And if you're looking at the screws and thinking, geez, for a perfectionist, they are not even and they stand out like dog's balls. Well, that actually is because my plan is to punch them all in a little bit lower and then I'm going to putty over and do one final coat of paint. So the idea is you won't see any screws or any fixings. It's just going to look like pure clean lines. Oh, the sun's so nice. I'm almost like tempted to get down into the t-shirt to try and get... I'll go out and have my air con on because the direct sunlight will jump on them. It's too much. <laughs> I have more time to play with and I figure this is really finishing product stuff. So we're getting creative. We've built this little frame, which is going to be the base kind of for, I'm going to picture frame out these windows on both sides. So now this should be able to slot out. It's a really weird shape in there, but I've kind of marked all the lines. So I'm going to cut that down size and then hopefully it's just going to make it look nice. Want to see what was by far the hardest cut to get a good finish of. And I have to admit, it was Sam that came up with the idea and really persisted until we got this right last night. But we had to manufacture these blocks and I liquid nailed them in place because we needed some point of attachment. But this one slots in here. And then sits up beautifully like so and is going to attach into those spots I think that forever has to be known as the Samuel board he killed it I realized I forgot I was going to get him to tell you about the time that we won over thirty thousand dollars on deal or no deal when we we're at university but I forgot so another time Remember that messy bunch of wires? No more. And here's where I was showing you earlier, the string pull through to pull through extra ones. And just a little one for my reading light.
Good morning. Join me at the ice table for a second. It is build day, I don't even know anymore, probably a thousand. I feel like this project has been going forever and I'm aware that this video is probably going to be pretty long in the end when I planned on it being a nice, short, easy one. So it shows how much or how little I knew what I was getting myself in for. I am going to absolutely have at it today. I was up till 11 p.m. last night. It's now 7 a.m. and today is Sunday. Tomorrow, Monday, I am meeting with the cabinet maker and I've got Monday and Tuesday booked in. He's going to teach me some skills of his trade and we're really going to go for it. So I need to be ready by tomorrow. So I've got a lot to do today. Before I get into it, I wanted to give a very quick Oki update. I know a lot of people have been asking about it. Oki's flights have unfortunately been pushed back twice now and it was looking like mid-August. Now it's looking like the end of August, early September at the earliest. And that's because airlines keep cancelling. The flight availability keeps going down. At the moment, it's looking with like Air New Zealand going through New Zealand early September, hopefully. I just really want him back, but it's completely out of my control. I'm so lucky that he's in such good care with Lee and her family, and I get kind of regular updates about him. It's also going to be more expensive than it was going to be because of limited flights, but you know, it's Oki, I would kind of do anything to get him back. And yeah, that's that's where we're at with him. So you can understand why I haven't been talking about it that much because it's, to be honest, it's just another thing that causes me a little bit of stress. And I just hope that early September is when it's actually gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna jump back into the build. I think you've kind of seen all the process of what goes into it. So now I am gonna see you again for the big reveal. Okay, thank you for indulging me there. I hope those shots turned out. I'm losing a bit of daylight, but I am stoked with how this van has turned out. As you can see, it's also not completely finished, but I ran around like an absolute headless chook today trying to get everything done. And really the main things that I didn't get finished would have been, I didn't get to fill in all the screw holes. So that's gonna be pretty much another day's work, I think, because I've got to fill every single hole with white putty, sand it back, paint it, but as I said, after you, I have done that, you'll see no screws. It's going to look really neat. You'll also have noticed around the windows, there's kind of gaps there. You're not going to see any of that because I'm going to put a nice kind of picture frame around each window that's going to turn it into a feature. And speaking of features, the bed ends that were meant purely as function, I think now look really cool with the way they're recessed and how that kind of framed out. I'm just stoked they turned out so well. As you guys know, and you can probably really tell by my videos, I'm not a carpenter, I'm not a tradesman, and that's one of the reasons it takes me so long is because I have to figure out how the hell to do everything, and not only that is I have to fix up my mistakes plenty of times. Quickly, mistakes I made, I completely forgot I had this tool. It's a smart bit drill bit that uh, countersinks and drills at the same time. I forgot that till like the last five boards would have been super handy, made it much more neat. Good thing to get. Also, otherwise I just pl made plenty of cutting mistakes. You know, the whole measure twice, cut once. Once you start to get tired, that goes out the window and, and yeah, you make mistakes. I'm aware this video was quite long, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. I am driving two hours tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to get to Chris, who's not only a cabinet maker, but a custom van converter to learn from the best. I'm really excited to show you that next week. Okay guys, see you next week. Oh, right, and if you were kind of left in the dark about me not putting up a video last week, I did update that on my Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram, I'll put it here, but make sure you follow that because if for any reason I can't put a video up or anything, that's where I'll most likely let you know. I mean, I also let everyone know on Patreon, you could go there too, up to you. Okay, bye guys.